Hello, my most amazing artist. How are you today? I hope you guys said that you're ready to create because today we're gonna to be learning how to draw and create some different types of mittens. Now, mittens are like a pair of gloves. They're something that keep your hands nice and warm when it's cold outside. I know it's not super cold outside here, but it is December, so I thought we could get started by drawing some today. Now, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is draw the shape of your mitten that would normally go around your hand to keep them warm. To do this, you're gonna need a piece of paper and something to draw with. I'm using a marker so you can see it better on the screen, but you can use a pencil or whatever you have available. The first thing you're gonna do is take your hand, place it on the paper, and you're gonna close these four fingers close together. See how my fingers are closed close together. They're not open, I close them, but my thumb is still out. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around my hand as if I'm bubbling it in to create the shape of the mitten. So watch how I do it. My fingers are closed, my thumb sticks out, and I'm gonna go ahead and trace around my thumb. Notice I'm not touching my thumb. Around my hand, going all the way down. There we go. It's the shape of a mitten, or like the glove, on one hand. It's not going in between the fingers, and that's okay. Once I'm done with one side, if you have room and you want to try, it gets a little tricky, to do the other side, you can try the same thing by closing your fingers and tracing around your hand. But this side's a little harder because this is not your dominant hand, so if you can't do it, that's okay. You can just have one mitten for today, and that's all right. But I'm going to go ahead and trace around my second one. There we go. And remember, it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, once I have the two shapes of my mittens, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some super awesome details inside of them to add some color and interest. To do this, you are gonna need something to draw with, but the first thing I'm gonna do is add my details with my marker, then I'm gonna color it in. Remember, you can be using a pencil and that is okay. To do this, the next step is I'm gonna draw some horizontal, so horizontal, lines across those mittens to show where my different sections are gonna be. The reason why I have different sections is because we are going to be filling in our mittens using different types of patterns. So we are using patterns today. That principle of design, part of those elements of art. So going through, drawing those lines. All right, now that I have the outline and I have my lines, the next step is to fill in some patterns. But first, think really hard. What is a pattern? A pattern is something that repeats over and over and over again. Now, it could be numbers, it could be shapes, it could be colors, but it's something that repeats over and over again. For example, it could be two colors, such as red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Or it could be shapes, such as a triangle square, triangle square, triangle square. Or it could even be numbers, such as one, two, one, two, one, two, or letters, A, B, A, B, A, B. There are all different types of patterns. Today, we're gonna to be drawing different types of patterns inside of each section to create our mittens. Now, you are welcome to go ahead and come up with your own patterns to color in your mittens, but make sure that you're coloring them neatly or staying inside the lines. Here's how we can do it. For my first one up here, I'm gonna go ahead, actually the top one up here, I'm just gonna do some lines down. I'm just gonna do some stripes going down. I know this isn't quite a pattern yet, but I could color it in using two different colors, neatly coloring it, blue in one, red in the next. Notice I'm staying inside my lines. And there's my first two colors. Now, because we're gonna make it into a pattern, the next color is going to be blue. And to keep my pattern going, the next color is going to be red. Then my next color is going to be blue. 
So you're switching back and forth to create your patterns. This is an example using colors. You could also use shapes. Let's say you wanna do a square circle, square circle. Now remember, because we're in art, is this gonna be done now that I've drawn a square circle, square circle? No, now that you have your square circle, square circle, you need to color in your designs. I'm gonna go ahead and get some yellow. Maybe I wanna do a bright yellow for the background. Maybe I wanna color in the circles and the squares a different color than the background. If you're going through and making sure that the whole thing has color and that you're being nice and neat and coloring inside the lines that you drew. Going through, adding that color. All right, there we go. So I have my background. I'm gonna add a little purple for my squares and I'm gonna keep going to finish my patterns. All right, you are going to be coloring different types of patterns in different colors, different designs inside each section of your mittens to create your unique design. Remember, you don't have to use the same patterns that I just drew there. You are welcome to come up with your own. Also, if you really wanted to do numbers or letters, you're welcome to do so. Just make sure that you color around it so it has some color to our designs. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing what you create.